Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Sweet Art Crafts. In this video, I wanted to do another Watch Me Resin where I show myself um, adding cupcakes slash cake sprinkles into resin pieces for the first time. I've always wanted to do this and I finally um, decided to buy some sprinkles to try this out. Before getting into the rest of this video, I just wanted to reiterate the epoxy resin safety. Make sure that you are wearing nitro gloves and are working in a well ventilated room with the windows open. A garage or a porch is preferable and also make sure that you are wearing a respiratory mask that uses vapor filters. In this clip here, you guys can see I'm putting on my nitro gloves and usually nitro gloves come in this blue color and the respiratory mask that I use is by the 3M brand and it has vapor filters. Here are the sprinkles that I will be using in this video. I got these at Joann's and I believe they were 50% off so that was good. And um, all of them were like Easter related except for the orange pack. The first few charms that I'll be making will be using these gummy bear molds. I actually sell these molds on my website for only $12 and I think they are 16 cavity molds. Um, so make sure to click the link down below in my description box if you want to purchase. Um, the resin that I will be using in this video mostly is liquid diamonds but I'm also using pro marine resin as well. Um, for, so right now I'm using liquid diamonds and I'm just going to mix that all together. So I decided to add some gold pigment into my pieces so I just added just a little bit so that it can have a little sparkle effect and for my first two charms I'm going to do a clear layer with the um, sparkly pigment so you can see I'm just pouring them into the mold and then the other two I'll be just doing them mostly just all um, sprinkles so as you can see I'm just going to start adding the sprinkles into um, the resin and I always thought that the resin resin would make the sprinkles dissolve dissolve or like bleed or something like that but nothing like that happened when I was mixing it and liquid diamonds is a very um, low viscosity resin so it's almost water like and even with this resin it didn't bleed or anything like that so that was good so I'm just going to be pouring it into the mold as you see and yeah So I waited a few hours before putting my second layer for the first two charms. Um, I wanted to do this two different methods because I wanted to see which way I preferred better. If I liked um, just having just the sprinkles straight up or having a clear layer first and then having a thin layer of sprinkles. And I actually prefer having like the clear layer first and then um, adding the sprinkles because you can actually see um, the gummy bear face a little bit better. So I just wanted to play around with the whole sprinkles and everything and see um, different methods and stuff like that that I can use with them.
So after 24 hours, this is how the gummy bear charms turned out and they all look super cute. And like I said before, the ones with the clear layer first and then the second layer with sprinkles are my favorite because you can see the gummy bear face better. So now I'm going to start making some shaker charms with the sprinkles. But before I get into any of that, I'm going to start painting my molds and then I'm going to allow them to dry before I start pouring in any resin in them. For the mini milk piece, I decided to leave it um, pretty simple just by making um, the piece clear and adding a few pigments that just added a glittery effect to it. Um, because with this piece, I decided I wanted to add the sprinkles into the shaker part and make it a dry shaker. So I didn't want any sprinkles in the resin portion of this just because I felt like it would be too overwhelming. I added the same clear glittery resin for the first layer of the sweet candy heart box and then after a few hours I decided to put on the second layer for that um, piece and for this one I was inspired by those little animal cookies that I used to have when I was a kid that were like frosted and had the sprinkles on them they were like so good and they were probably like my favorite snack when I was younger so I decided to make the um, resin like a very light pink and then I added in the sprinkles um, into them at first I wasn't sure if it was gonna come out cute but you'll you'll see later on the video it did end up looking pretty cute because I wasn't sure how the pink resin um, would mesh with the sprinkles if it would just be too overwhelming or anything like that but it wasn't so I'm very happy with that so you're going to notice me take out some of the sprinkles in certain areas where I felt like it was protruding a little bit too much because I just felt like if I left them there, it would make the piece not lay as flat once it's fully cured when I'm doming them. So I didn't want that to interfere with anything. Now I'm going to get started on the next piece, which is the bigger milk. And um, for this one, I'm just going to pour some white opaque um, resin dye into the resin. And then I'm going to just add in the sprinkles. The ones that I'm using are the orange ones. And I think these are some poop sprinkles, if I'm not mistaken. That's what they look like to me, but I just felt like they were so random. So that's why I just took them out and didn't use them. But um, so yeah, and I'm going to also add in some glitter pigment as well as just some regular glitter just because I wanted to see like different ways that I can incorporate the sprinkles into the pieces and I really like how this piece turned out. So I made a little dumb mistake of adding too much resin into the the sweet candy heart box mold so you'll see the resin is starting to slowly pour out but I later clean it up as you can see in this clip so no worries with that but I didn't even notice it the whole time while I was mixing for the milk piece and when I noticed I was like what the heck is going on so while those other pieces were curing, I decided to do a little experiment and I took all my sprinkles and mixed them together and then I added some baby oil into the cup and I left it there for about five days just to see um, if the sprinkles would dissolve or if the colors would bleed and stuff like that. So you'll see what I um, discovered after that at the end of the video. But yeah, I just want to see if you could add them into the pieces with... Um, baby oil like I usually do with most of my shaker charms. So this is how all the shaker pieces turned out and now I'm going to start adding the um, shaker fillings and for the first one the sweet candy heart box I just added some beads and then the one in the middle I added in the actual sprinkles because I wanted to make that into a dry shaker, shaker like I said earlier and then for this piece um, like I said before in my other videos I like to use buttons um, as shaker pieces so I'm just showing you guys how I cut down and add UV resin to um, glue the piece together so that it can lay flat inside of the piece. So now I'm going to get started on putting the shaker charms together. I have a full in-depth tutorial showing you guys how I do this. Just make sure to click the i card above or check in my description box below. Um, I know a lot of people still like me showing 
the process of me doing them in my videos so that's why i added a few clips showing um, myself just putting them together but i just won't really go in depth or talk like through each of the process of how i do it since i already have a full video on that Now I'm going to start doming my pieces so I'm just mixing my resin and then after I mix it I'm going to let it sit for about 5 minutes before I start um, actually doming the pieces. I do have a, a full tutorial showing you guys how I dome my shaker charms and all my other pieces as well and um, just click the i card above as well as check my description box below. I waited 24 hours for the shaker charms to cure from their doming. I didn't dome the gummy bear charms just because I felt like they were already shiny so there was no need to um, disrupt them. So I know I get a lot of questions on how I attach my hardware for my keychain so I decided to um, show my whole process in this video. So I've already um, drilled holes into the tops of the pieces. Um, I didn't want to show that part just because it um, the dust would get everywhere so that's why I didn't show exactly how I do that. But I I just use a drill there's also hand drills and then I take my hands and just um, screw in the eye screws so now I'm going to take some UV resin and put it on a toothpick and then I'm going to apply it to the um, area of the eye screw this is just an extra layer of protection so that the um, keychain doesn't break or anything like that just in case if you know um, the resin around the eye screw gets loose or, and stuff like that that's why i like to add the um, uv resin around it just for an extra um, security The keychains that I buy come with these open jump rings so I'm going to thread them through the eye screws and then I'm going to attach the keychain part and I use two pliers to close the open jump ring together and yeah so basically that's how I um, attach my hardware to my charms and I also like to add my own custom um, tags to my pieces so that if a customer is out and somebody asks them where they got their charm from um, my shop name is right there and I do sell these um, customized for your shop if you guys are interested so please make sure to DM me on Instagram sweetartcrafts underscore if you would like to purchase some of these A little update on the sprinkles that were soaking in baby oil for about five days um, you can see the baby oil did look a little bit cloudy so I feel like if you're shaking the charm it would be even cloudier than this and I think that was as a result of the sprinkles that um, were a bit chunkier bigger that I'll show later on is this purple one um, that were like a little bit dissolving into the charm so I'm thinking after a while they would completely um, disintegrate because you can see I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to crush it and you see how like easy it was able to crush I was able to crush this one so I'm thinking those ones you shouldn't really put into the baby oil but um, the ones that were like more like candy pieces like the Easter egg and the Easter bunny those ones didn't seem like they were bleeding or anything like that or if they would even dissolve so I'd recommend if you would want to put these in your pieces with the baby oil to put these ones um, specific um, sprinkles in there 
which are basically i think they're basically candies um but i personally didn't add them in just because i didn't want to ruin my pieces so that's why i did this little experiment so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me experimenting with sprinkles and my resin charms for the first time. I think that every single piece came out super cute. So yeah, so make sure to subscribe, comment, like, and share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye now.